This is looking inside of a knee of a gentleman who was having persistent recurrent swelling and pain uh, using a metal probe, uh, almost like a finger, to give you a tour of the inside of the knee. You can see here, this is articular cartilage damage. This is unstable articular cartilage damage, the medial femoral condyle here. And here's this meniscus. You can see the torn fibers of the meniscus here at the very back of the knee, more towards the front here. Some of the terrace here flipped up underneath itself and uh, uh, creating pain and also causes the persistent effusion. Here we've got a, a rotary motorized shaver we're going to, we're going to use to resect the unstable part of the meniscus. Um, we want to try to preserve as much meniscal anatomy as possible. It's there for a reason, but the unstable portion is not doing anything but creating havoc. Uh, you can see below the motorized shaver, there's a little bit of damage on the tibial plateau, but in general, the tibia side, the, the bottom side of the knee looks fairly good. Our articular cartilage is well maintained, and we're using these motorized instruments to try to uh, resect just as much of the torn meniscus as necessary uh, to stabilize it and prevent the uh, uh, symptoms of pain and swelling. Here is a meniscal punch. You can see there's a what we call a longitudinal split uh, where there's a superior leaf and an inferior leaf and we're going to take out the inferior leaf, uh, preserve the top part of the meniscus uh, as a, a method of stabilizing this. Again, to reorient you, reorient you the uh, femoral condyle is above and uh, the tibial plateau is below. So with the meniscal punch, we're going to just take out just as much of that inferior leaf as we need to to stabilize that meniscus. Um, uh, again, back to the rotary shaver, we're going to uh, use, use, just barely use the side of a non-aggressive shaver to catch the unstable portion and, and uh, remove it. Uh, we don't want to take any uh, normal articular cartilage, but just the part that's going to break off eventually and become a loose body and float around the knee. We want to address that. Uh, we've cleaned out all the loose bodies that we see as, as we're doing the scope and clean those out, but these will be additional loose bodies if we're not careful. So just very carefully catch the edge. Uh, this unstable articular cartilage will eventually become a loose body uh, if not addressed at this time. So you can see this femoral condyle has a, a defect. Uh, there's an articular surface defect there. Uh, now we're, we're moved over to the lateral side of the knee. Again, uh, you can see on the tibial plateau here, unstable articular cartilage, not a huge area, but definitely some wear. And here in the lateral femoral condyle, there's also a little bit of a defect with the loose uh, band of articular cartilage. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get the non-aggressive uh, full radius shaver. Just use the edge of it just to get the unstable part. I want to leave the articular cartilage that's not damaged alone, but I do want to stabilize that uh, and prevent it from breaking off. This is a uh, radial frequency probe. Uh, you use a very controlled measure of energy to uh, coagulate um, the unstable cartilage. And again, we're going to seal the edge to prevent any additional loss of articular cartilage. Looking up now, this is the patella above. This is the trochlea or the little groove the kneecap tracks in below. And you can see this articular cartilage, which is not in the weight bearing portion, it looks fairly good. Uh, no significant damage there. Uh, again, nice, smooth, articular surface. You can see where the kneecap tracks fairly well on the trochlea and no significant uh, damage to the surface at that point. Uh, again, using the metal probe to kind of feel, make sure there's no unstable portions, uh, anything that we might need to have to address at a later time. Uh, the notch of the knee there, there's the anterior cruciate ligament. That looks fine. As I bend the knee down, you can see it on the medial side the articular surface defect, but we've taken all this, all the unstable articular cartilage off, uh, preventing any further loose bodies. We've taken out the torn portion of the meniscus. We've got a stable uh, tibial plateau bed. Uh, moving over to the lateral side, again, uh, you can see as we pass the ACL, there's a loose body that we're going to address. We kind of get those out as we go, um, and all those loose bodies will float around the knee. Uh, and cause uh, persistent swelling. So we get those as we go. We can see now stable lateral meniscus, stable tibial plateau, all the loose pieces have been addressed.
Uh, again, the, the lateral femoral condyle above as well, uh, been stabilized, uh, no additional loose bodies will be formed.